Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and it appears now that more top Democrats are getting on board and saying they think that Donald Trump is going to defeat Joe Biden in the 2024 general election. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So as you guys know, Biden's not facing much of a primary, right? Robert F. Kennedy is running as an independent, it appears. Uh, same with Cornell West. Same with Jill Stein. But there is one person. There's one person running against Joe Biden that we know of from the Democrat Party. And that person is Representative Dean Phillips. Now, Dean Phillips says he's being shut down by the establishment. Have you heard this before? Have you heard this before? Because it happens with Republicans and Democrats. He says he's being shut down by the establishment that does not want him to challenge the status quo, that does not want him to challenge Biden. But he had a sobering message for Joe Biden, one that the White House needs to listen to, one that Democrats need to listen to, because he's not the nominee yet. And he believes, Dean Phillips, that Donald Trump will, in fact, defeat Joe Biden in 2024. Before I let you watch that clip, I want to ask you again to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Now let's watch Representative Dean Phillips. And months to come. Congressman Dean Phillips, he's running for president. He's challenging President Biden as a Democrat. Now let's be clear, not as a third party candidate. So if he loses the primary against Biden, he's not the spoiler candidate who hurts Democrats. He's trying to beat Biden in the Democratic primary. But that hasn't stopped many establishment Democrats from trying to marginalize his campaign. And with President Biden truly struggling in recent polls to beat Donald Trump, I've said this before, I am stunned more Democrats aren't at least focusing on his candidacy. Recent battleground state polls show Biden losing to Trump by four, five, even 10 points in states Biden won in 2020. And I keep asking, why aren't Democrats freaking out more? Some of those same polls show a generic Democrat beating Trump easily. Tonight, we'll cover a range of issues from how he could actually win to Israel, the border. Ask some of your questions as well. Welcome to Democratic Congressman Dean Phillips from Minnesota, candidate for president. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Great Appreciate to be with you, Dan. It. All right, so let's start with the, the big picture question. Why are more people not taking your candidacy seriously? I mean, I talk to people who are well-informed about politics, and I say, oh, I had Dean Phillips on my show the other day, and they say, who's Dean Phillips? Sure. Well, t two reasons. The country doesn't know me yet, which is going to take some time. But the bigger issue is I'm a threat to a system that many people are trying to protect. And that's a problem. It's a duopoly. It's a political industrial complex that is always focused on a core nation, not really accustomed to a competition, particularly when you have an incumbent president. But this is an unusual time, Dan, as you just pointed out. Do Donald Trump is going to beat Joe Biden. I'm just going to say it again. Donald Trump is going to beat Joe Biden. Most people know that. But the conversations are all being had, and they're having them privately. They're not doing them publicly. That's the difference. It's going to take a little bit of time. And you know what the Democrats say, because I've often said to people who come on the show who are Democrats, I say, look at the polls. They tell me why the polls don't matter. They tell me a year out, uh, polls often change. They tell me that when people realize that it's ultimately Donald Trump versus anybody, they're going to vote against Donald Trump. And their position is that they think that people like you are being way too alarmist about the polls today. <laughs> alarmist? I think people who are not being alarmist about Donald Trump are delusional. That's the whole reason I'm here today. That's why I'm running for president. It's not what I anticipated. I tried for a year to encourage the president to pass the torch, spent the better part of six months encouraging candidates who are better known than I am right now to enter the stage. This is what you do in democracy. You practice by actually having competitions. So it's gonna take some time for that delusion to pass, but I've not seen one shred of evidence not one shred that Joe Biden is positioned to beat Donald Trump. Not one. Every poll, every single poll relative to his approval rating, uh, intuition back home, conversations, every, literally, this sounds rid ridiculous. I ask every person I encounter on my campaign, if, you know, do, are you ready for change? I found three people 
Three, we keep count. Three people have said, no, no, I, we're, I'm happy with uh, either Joe Biden or Donald Trump. That's why 75 percent of the country right now is saying they don't want this. And the political industrial complex is trying to protect the status quo and not encourage a competition for Democrats. It's dangerous. It's so, really dangerous. So how does it work? Right. You yeah. can't even get on the ballot. In a lot of places, right? Yeah. So, so as a practical matter, let's assume that your candidacy starts getting some traction, right? Sure. Let's assume you start doing, you do well in New Hampshire, surprisingly so, right? And people say, whoa, this guy Phillips, who is he? Ah, oh, did pretty well in New Hampshire. But, and, but then what? I mean, you're not even on the ballot in well, a lot I'm of gonna, these states. Well, I'm going to be on 40 ballots at least. Is, but is it easy? No, because the system, Dan, is designed to prevent competition. Now, publicly, the Democratic Party would like everybody to believe that we believe in debate, we believe in voter participation, and we believe in thoughtful candidate competition. But the truth is, behind the scenes, every single one of those categories is suppressed. With that said, I've